back to you forever, big brother fans. I know this video is late AF, but I wanted to come on here and review Big Brother or Celebrity Big Brother season two, episodes six and seven. I think I think it's six and seven, but I'm gonna run through it really, really quick because I made this video for C for episode six already and it got deleted. So, like, if y'all saw my live feed spoilers, the last one I did, I actually did the C the episode six review with that. But the video ended up getting something happened or another. But I'm going to review it right now. And I will say, I'm a live feed watcher. So it's kind of weird reviewing this this season or like season 20. Because I know what's going on in the feeds. And then I'm watching what they're showing. Like Big Brother to me is one of the most... I would say it's one of the most real reality shows. Because you can watch the feeds. But, I mean, the competitions might not be real. I mean, they can rig those however they want or, like, the votes, all that. They can rig that how they want. If they wanted to. Not saying they do. But, like, when it comes to the drama and what's going on, like, what they're talking about, that's what I feel is one of the most realest. This is one of the most realest TV shows because it's happening in real time and live. If you're a live feed watcher like me, you know what's going on. But season six, I'm going to run through it really, really quick in probably 60 seconds or less, hopefully. But... Tamar won the power, or it was between Tamar and Tom for the power of veto. It, they played it out live, and Tom ended up winning. But if I was Tom, in order to do their plan, they want to pull one of the nominees off the block and put Ryan up to backdoor him. Personally, if I was Tom, I would have not won that veto. Let Tamar win it. Why not? Let Tamar win it. She'll have a win under her belt, so like she'll look like more of a threat than you. She already caused a lot of drama inside now, so she's already a like a bigger target than you why not put a bigger target target on her back she was the first person to pull herself off the block and she you can still do your plan and you know back to Ryan. personally i love what kato said in his speech where he took well tom took dina off the block i love what kato said when he put ryan on the block ryan like he said all good things about ryan everybody liked ryan ryan seemed like a really good guy I really would not expect me to like him as much, you know, from his preseason interview and him coming into the house. But he really was a good, good person to watch. Like he was a fun, per fun contestant, fun house guest. And I'm gonna miss watching him on this show. Well, I have missed it because this has been happening a long time ago at this point. But uh, he told him like go kill it in the 2020 Olympics. And you know, Ryan went out really classy. He his interview with Julie. He talked about how you know he. Well, first of all, Julie asked, is it going to be awkward at the Olympics? First of all, Julie, <laughs> I know you weren't being serious because you know how many people are in the Olympics. What's the odds of Lolo and Ryan seeing each other? And if they do, do you really think they're going to be thinking about this? They haven't even been in this house for a month, and they won't be in this house for a month because it's Celebrity Big Brother. But I just love his interview with her and all the good things he said. Like, this was a game. He had a blast. He made 11 new friends, so he, he wasn't dissing anybody. And he said he's a super fan of the show now. So I really like that. And he said swimming is easy to him, but that was hard. And I really like Ryan. I, I really I really am going to miss him. But uh, then we see the HOH competition, which was like a haunted house type thing. Personally, I don't really like this because, first of all, I want them to show the HOHs live. Like, they haven't done it once this season. But... Tamar ended up not competing inside this challenge, which I don't knock her for. That, like, it's scary. Like, what if, like, I don't know. I am i don't do hunting houses either, so, you know, I don't knock her for that. It looked scary to me. It really did, like a chainsaw and people jumping up. Like, I don't know. But, you know, Tamar's dramatic, so. Uh, Dina did uh, the worst out of everybody because she was at, like, 14 minutes, but that's still not bad. Like, Dina's not a... A horrible competitor inside this game. Um, then I think Candy was second worst at eight minutes, or maybe it was even Marie. But you know, the, the order doesn't even really matter. Just know that the winner ended up being Tom. So it is like a streak going on right now. If you win a veto, you win HOH. Because Kato won the veto, then he won HOH. Tom won the veto, then he won HOH. So let's see if it continues for the next week. But uh, Tom ended up nominating. Well, first of all, there's a power, the power of the publicist. I personally voted for Tamar because there's no need to vote for the people in the Team Fun Alliance, which is Ricky, Lolo, Eva Marie, Kato, Tom. There's no reason to vote for any of them because they're inside of a good, they're in the best position of the house at this point. 
at this point that I'm talking about. So, so eliminate all five of them, and I think it's ten people left, right? It's ten people in the house. Mooch went home, Ryan went home, Jonathan went home. So it's nine people in the house. You just eliminated five. So it's down to Candy, Tamar, Dina, or Joey. Personally, me, I'm not voting for Candy or Dina because they're not really... I, I, I would be more more towards voting for Candy, but Dina, like, I don't know. It's just something about them to where, I don't know. And then Joey doesn't want to be there. He doesn't care about going home. He doesn't really think strategically. He he complains about everything, so I'm not voting for him. So Tamar, to me, was the best option to vote for, and that's what I voted for, and she ended up winning. And I love her response, and she has been everything on the feed because if y'all haven't watched, she has denied. I could not tell who won until I watched the episode 7, which I'm talking about now. It was like she denied, denied, denied. She did a great job. Actually, going back to season 6, I forgot to talk about Lolo crying about voting to evict Ryan. But my thing is, Lolo... You brought this all on yourself. You're the one that wanted to evict him. You're the one that didn't want to work with him no more. You, I really am not a fan of Lolo anymore. And I wish that she was the one that left instead of Jonathan week one. But, you know, what could I do? And Ryan didn't put her up. Like, Lolo, this is all on you. You did this to yourself. Like, you are the reason he's evicted. Sorry. Um, obviously, she's not. But, like, I don't know. She's just irritating me on the feed lately. Um... But, yes, Tamar gives the power to publicist. She's not telling nobody. Tom puts up Candy and uh, Joey. He says he thinks that they probably got the power. Tom has gone crazy on the feeds over this power. He keeps saying that so much. Watch my live feed spoilers, the last one I did, and you will, like, I go in depth on how much he talks about this. But Tamar has not told anybody. Let me talk about this episode, actually. So what was on it? It was the challenge, the HOH competition, and then the power. I don't think anything else really happened. Yeah, I don't, I don't believe anything else really happened. So that's it for the review. Um, going into some spoilers. So we're now entering spoiler room brawl. Cut off this video if you do not want spoilers. Okay, three, two, one. The mooch is back in the house. No, I'm just joking. Okay, <laughs> but anyway. Um, Eva Marie ended up winning the power of veto. And she is, like, there was a big plan for Tom to backdoor Ricky, but obviously it's team fun. She doesn't want to backdoor Ricky. I think she likes Ricky more than she likes Tom and Kato. Actually, I know that. Uh, she decided not to use the veto, and now team fun is no more. They've disbanded. Um, it looks like Candy's gone, unfortunately, because Joey has went with Joe with um, basically the whole other side of the house. Everybody except Tom, Kato, Dina are together now, and Candy. Unfortunately, unfortunately, sorry. I'm so sorry, Candy, that you have to leave. Um, it just, I don't know. Like, I wish if her and Tamar would have just not fought. If they would have just, and the reason why I'm sad is because I like Candy. I like her a lot, and I feel like Joey should leave before Candy. I feel like Dina should leave before Candy. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Like, if Joey was gone and Dina was gone. I will say yes. It's time for Candy to go if she have if if we're at this point and none of them have made any moves. I feel like Candy should leave because Candy I can tell wants to be there. Joey doesn't, and he will tell you that in a second. He does not want to be there, or I don't know if he'll tell you that, but he'll care. He'll tell you that he doesn't care about going home. Let me say that. Dina, she was drunk last night on the feeds, and I didn't record it. I'm so sorry, but I feel like that was. One of the funniest and worst hard-to-watch things. Because she got in an argument with Candy and with Kato. It was very weird. I hate when people argue with drunk people, and Dina was obviously drunk. But if it goes up, maybe. I, I don't know. But, yeah. Unfortunately, it looks like Candy will be leaving the house um, Saturday night. Unless something crazy happens. Personally, I think that since Tom and Kato are not with... Um, the girls anymore how crazy would it be if tamar if they actually talk to tamar not knowing about that she has the power and tamar tells them about the power and says okay i'll cut a deal with y'all i'll use my power on candy candy comes off the block if you put up lolo because tom wants to put up lolo anyway tom puts up lolo three votes to, to send lolo home will be candy tamar 
and Tom, I'm sorry, Kato, they won't even need Dina because Dina's all types of crazy and doesn't know what she wants to do. Uh, actually, Dina would probably eliminate Lolo because Dina doesn't really like the girls that she called her. How she called them. So, but either way, they have three votes. If it's a tie, Tom sends Lolo home. Or if it's four to two, Lolo goes home. How crazy would that be? Because Lolo haven't won nothing, so or anything, should I say. She hasn't won anything. She trains really hard. She can run. Like I'll be watching her inside the gym with Natalie. Those two are some athletes. Like, I guess I never really paid attention to how athletes work out, but man, like if you watch them in the gym, Natalie is on this elliptical for like an hour straight, over an hour straight, and just not breaking a sweat, just going. Like it's nothing, not complaining. And you know, Lolo, she runs really fast for like a minute or maybe thirty seconds and then stops takes a break, walks, and then does it. like. But she's going fast as hell. Like Y'all need to check it out. But I've been rambling for the past three minutes. This video could have been way shorter. I just love talking Big Brother. Um, leave comments down below. I will reply to all y'all because I really don't have any friends that watch this show and I really want to talk about it. So Until next time, I will try to review the Saturday episode on Saturday night so that it can go up. Uh, catch y'all later.